attend this dialogue because dialogue, as somebody said, is the beginning of democracy. I don't know why anybody who says he's a democrat would not want dialogue. I always welcome opportunity for dialogue. When you don't dialogue, you miss opportunity to be understood clearly. Because when I dialogue with you, I tell you exactly what I think. So you may understand me better. And I may influence you to come to my side. So why would uh, a Democrat fear there? When you were starting here, you, there was some uh, lack of uh, facts. Because people, uh, I think it was the only one who said this is the first summit of party leaders. Actually, this is not true. The first summit took place after the elections of 2006, when I had a summit with the late Seven Ajisto and Mamamidi Obote. And, uh, and uh, somebody called to see me who had uh, a small party. <laughs> we had a summit at Nakasiro. Therefore, for, for, for me, dialogue is a command from God. When, when I, I, I come out and I say, I want to lead people, and then I say, I don't want to talk to so and so, I don't want to talk to so and so. That means I'm betraying my mandate. There are people who want to talk, but who cannot talk. Somebody has got a stroke. He wants to talk, but he's not able to talk. And here, here, here you are, you, have, you, you still have your mouth, you still have your, your brain. God has given them to you, and out of arrogance and conceit, you see, don't want to talk, uh, that's your own problem. So, me, I'm not part of those who don't want to talk. I've never been. Even when we were fighting, I, 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 I talked to the Okero in Nairobi. <laughs> we had peace talks in Nairobi. We were shooting at one another, shooting, not just uh, saliva. <laughs> but we had talks in Nairobi. And we, we, we would have moved forward. But people just uh, miscalculate. They miscalculate because they think that they are very clever, they can pass here, they can pass there. That's how they miss opportunities. I had peace talks with the, actually with all the leaders. 
with Mze Obote, we had talks. I had talks with DP after the 1979. I attended their launch, their relaunch in the Grand Imperial Hotel. I don't, I don't know what the, yes, so why did I hear what, 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 yes. They had a function in the Grand Imperial, and I attended. And when I attended, I, I, I advised them what to do, but they didn't agree. <laughs> so I left them. You cannot say you are a leader and you don't want to, 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 to talk. That, that means that when you talk, you agree with everything that is talked about. No, but you put your point of view. Now, the, I did not have to be to join politics. Even today, I don't have to be in politics. Because me, I have my job. I am a cattle keeper. I am not a rural. My job is cattle keeping. And if you want to know, my father died when he was 97. He has never been a member of LC1. My uncle died recently, and some of you came to me bury him. He has never been even a member of LC1. I'm the first member from my family to be in the government. What forced me to go into, poli into politics was two, we are two words. And I would appeal to you, because I hear people like Mao talking about transition, how you how would like to sit in the audience and see him seven hand in power. That is the most important thing for him. <laughs> I don't think really that is the most important. And it's good that he's saying that. And I'm also going to tell him what I think is important. <laughs> why, and, and that's why I do in politics. And that's why I'm, I'm still in politics. Two words. And these words, <laughs> that's why I'm prosperous. The people of Uganda are buying my milk. The more buyers I have, the more prosperous I become. And the people who make me prosperous are not the Banyankore, because the Banyankore also have milk. They have milk, I have milk. They don't buy my milk, I don't buy theirs. So the people who make me prosperous are the people of Kampara who buy my milk. But the people of Kampara are not enough because the milk we are producing now is more than the consumption of Uganda. The people of East Africa are the ones helping me also to be prosperous. The people of Kenya, the people of South Sudan, the people of Congo. So therefore, the political leaders, instead of talking about tribes, Instead of talking about religion, instead of just talking about transition, that, that uh, Mao sits and he sees uh, another president swearing, that is the most important. Please, that even if you can have as many transitions as, uh, as the years can accommodate, but if we don't deal with the issue of the prosperity of our people, Africa would be in trouble. So the first one you should talk, 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 think about 
is prosperity. Now, why I joined politics was that I had already started seeing this, because even by the 1960s, we were already reading world, world history, Europe, and so on, and realized that one of the factors that was behind the unification of Germany, Germany was not one country. By 1970, but by 1870, Germany was 39 kingdoms. This Germany you see today was 39 kingdoms. Bavaria, Prussia, Saxon, and so on. But there was one leader called uh, uh, Bismarck, who I have said, if I still have strength, I will put my point of view. Not to retire when Africa, when the original issues of Africa, why Africa nearly perished, are not addressed. And you are just addressing small things, small things, the elections, this one, this one. If you are the ones you are electing, you are electing them to do what exactly? That's what you should answer. So, Excellence, uh, th these are not yet Excellencies, they are, <laughs> they are just honorable. Honorable <laughs> chair persons. These are my reasons for being in politics. I have no other interest in politics. I don't need a living in politics. I'm a cattle keeper. And that is my... So I'm glad that you, 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 you called me here so that I tell you this. Association of Freedoms. Well, Masaru gave a good summary of the right to assemble and so on. But he left out one issue. There's no problem in people assembly. Because during the campaigns, the rival candidates assemble. You find somebody holding the rally here, another one holds the rally here. The only problem we have is that some people decide to assemble in the markets. Why do you want to hold a rally in the market? Where people are selling their, their products. I discuss with them in great detail. That's problem number one. Number two, they say uh, some, some of the groups actually behave as if they are on the verge of being terrorists. Indeed, what the, the, these people know, we lost a number of Ugandans. One of them was called Babu. He was a member of one of the opposition parties from Bushen. He was, he was killed in Congo, in Bunya, and eaten by my allies there, because I had allies there. They killed him and ate him. Babu, you want to check. Somebody called Babu from Bushenyi, who was from one of the parties. He was in Bunya. He was killed there and eaten there. Because some of my allies there were cannibals. They were eating people. But they were my allies. They were, they were with me on my side. Some of the poor people survived, 22 of them. They came to the court, the owner of Ogora saw them. The, the, those people were, were arrested in Congo and they were brought here. Now, another Ugandan called uh, um, Opira, or Opoka, died in South Sudan, killed by coin. Because that poor Opoka, was a university graduate. He left here, 
he went, uh, he joined one of the, of, the, of the parties here, which took him to Rwanda. From Rwanda, he went to Congo, from I don't know where, he ended up in South Sudan. He, he was killed there by coin. So, if you have got political actors, whose one leg is in constitutional politics, another leg is in unconstitutional conduct, we are not fools. You saw what happened in, uh, in France recently, where there was so much damage to the, to the, to the property of people. Nobody will do that here when I'm here in the church. I will deal with you beforehand so that I protect the, the property of the people. So therefore, the, I think the judges say, if you want to, if you want justice, you come with clean hands. I, I think I have had lawyers giving that. Uh, yes, you cannot come to justice when you, you you say you are a democrat on one side and you are a, a terrorist on another side, and you think you are dealing with people who don't know. Because we know we have all this information. Somebody is organizing a demonstration as a trigger to something else which we already know. Of course, Masaru has rightly criticized the police. He has said, why don't you then get, get enough evidence and get a conviction? I totally agree. The police will be more organized so that they get uh, uh, convictions in court. But, but, but really, the problem of assembly is not a problem at all. It is because of three issues. First, venue. Thank you very much.